what some people would call the game of the weekend because of the biggest conference. But if you look at the spread, you would have a different opinion. It's rotation 239-240. The Crimson Tide are taken on Florida in Atlanta. The Tide laying 17 on a total of 74. Or we could get a 73 and a half out there. I assume we're looking over. Uh, anyway, this is some shit. Now, before you get started on Florida, I'm going to point out two things. First of all, that same trend we used against Marshall earlier on would apply here against Florida. Uh, so that would favor Bama. But, um, but also, uh, isn't Mac Jones just, uh, just as good as Trask, except he just has a better team around him? He might be better. Might be better, too. Yeah, He might be better. Yeah. <clears throat> They're comparable, to say the least. Yeah, I mean, I've been impressed because I was like, I was in and out on Jones coming into the season, but week in and week out, he had shown me I was wrong to ever question him. The Bama defense has definitely been on, you know, the glide path upward also. They're getting better week to week. I mean, 17 is a lot because there's no reason for Saban to have to pants Mullen, right? And Trask will keep trying to score till the very end. I mean, yeah. What's the first half total in this game? Let's consider that. Because um, maybe why don't you take a look at that? Because maybe this game starts out a little bit, you know, a little bit touch and go. Because maybe Dan Mullen comes into this contest being like, hey, let me not get immediately fucking teabagged. Right? And um, and Saban never minds playing a slow first quarter in principle. Yeah, under 38 could be attractive to us. Even um, if we like the over seventy four for the game, yeah. Um, the I think the question is Florida's production in the first half of these games in the latter half of the year. Ever since their cancellation, they've been kind of underwhelming in the first half of games. So versus Missouri, they put up forty one points. They scored twenty in the first half. Uh, I have to walk through each of these. Give me a second. Um, versus Georgia. Uh, they scored. Oh, they beat them up in the first half. Never mind. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, this Arkansas game. Oh no, that was okay. I- I'm prepared now. Okay, so the last th- four weeks versus Vandy in the first half, they only scored 17 points. Uh, versus Kentucky, they only scored 14 points. In the first half, uh, versus the Volunteers, only uh, seventeen points, and then versus the Tigers, go Tigers, seventeen points. So um, they're a little bit; they've been coming out a little bit flat in the first part of these games. So I think you're going to be. <clears throat> <sighs> this is tough. I don't think you really bet this game except for the the game over. I don't even think you touch the first half um, over under because you could easily get 10 to 17 points out of Florida. Um, the problem with them is that since they don't run the ball, they're really predictable. Um, mm-hmm. So... I think you're gonna they're gonna have a couple three and outs here in the first half of the game. You might see two three and out. You might see a three and out, or maybe they convert one first down or two. But I think they're gonna get stopped by Alabama pretty easily. And then the Gators have no defense, so Alabama is gonna be able to name the score. I think they could still do that in the first half too. So while I did say that Florida has come out slow, like. Eh, you, maybe they could get 10 to 17 points in the first half, and then there's no really no reason to play the first half under. Maybe I was looking at the first half the wrong way because, like, we have always, you know, been been people who wanted to look at Bama in the first half also. Mm-hmm. Like, why would it? Because I kind of agree. Bama's, even if Florida scores the first position, Bama's defense got a little something for them. Can Bama just open up a nice double-digit lead by the half? They have a minus 10 for the first half. Yeah, they easily could. They very I mean, easily could. Um, Florida, Florida's defense 
can't stop a cold. This is the problem. I mean, there's no way Florida wins this game. Right. Unfortunately. This is like, you know, the Rebel Alliance versus uh, the Death Star. Like, yeah, the Rebel Alliance did blow up the Death Star, but that's because they somehow, like, got this weird religious wizard to fly um, an X-Wing and at precisely at the right moment, use his wizard superpowers to fire that the proton missile into the exhaust system of the Death Star. Like, that ain't going to happen. Kyle Trask is not Luke Skywalker. So there, there's no way to win this game. Um, Dan Mullen will be embarrassed. Um, but just for shits and giggles, we should go with the first ha- with Alabama covering the first half. I agree. I like that. I I might find myself out of pocket. Bama minus ten for a half. I gotta I gotta think Bama pulls away early and just yeah, goes on cruise control. Now we got our.